2020 what an exciting time to be alive in South Africa what an exciting time for South African athletes man oh yeah there are some epic epic things happening this year and we are going to wet your taste buds tonight and take you through all our plans for the year um, a couple of official things have been released this week so we're going to go through that um, go through um, our 2020 calendar so there's there is a bit of an agenda so sit back grab a cup of coffee don't go too far listen in if you guys have any questions you can comment we have collected a couple mm. of questions but if you have any questions you want answered live drop it in the comments and we will go through those towards the end of the show cool so first up first up so you saw that we released the MPC Worldwide Regional Qualifications. As you can see over there, the number of countries that have got mandatory regulatory um, regional qualification requirements has increased now to 14 countries. So we have got Australia, Brazil, Canada, Germany, India, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Portugal, South Africa, South Korea, Spain, and the United Kingdom. So um, athletes that are residents or citizens of those countries are required to do one regional qualifier before being allowed to do a pro qualifier anywhere in the world. So you guys can go have a look um, on our website or on our Instagram. All the information that we display in there is up on the webs. Um, and it is live there for you guys to read and catch up in case you miss out on anything. So that one that's on the screen at the moment is all the qualification rules for pro qualifiers and how MPC Worldwide athletes can gain their status to be an IFBB Professional League Pro. So 2020 is a year of history. It's a brand new decade, new beginnings, new hopes and dreams for everybody and really new exciting things. And one of the new things that is come through in 2020 is that any athlete that enters any MPC Worldwide contest will now be required to have an MPC Worldwide membership. So we have shared the link for the membership can we go to that page quickly, G, on how to register? There we go. So in order to register on the MPC Worldwide website, that's the website there. You would go to new registration. I think we will do a, la a later on, um, not in this session, but we will do a session where we will take you guys step for step through the registration process, but we will do that in a separate, separate insert. Them pricing in there. Yeah, so, so wherever you are in the world, you would select your country and based on your region where you're coming from, um, the relevant pricing for the membership will be applicable to you. Um, for the South African athletes, um, you, your pricing is $20 a year, which translates to about 340 Rand currently there yeah. give or take yeah that made it uh, I think continent specific it's continent specific and um, the pricing so um, so should we talk about the reasons why why join an NPC mm. come back to that mm, brush over the money just go with them why, why, why do we feel it's 
NPC. What's cool with NPC? Let's talk about it. So do you dream of standing on the Olympia stage? Because NPC Worldwide is the gateway and the only way to get there to the Olympia stage. Um, there have been some announcements, more announcements with the Rocks Athleticon, which we're going to go into a little bit later in the show. But if you want to be part of the South African team that is going to the Rocks Athleticon in October 2020, where the first NPC Worldwide International Championships are going to take place, the only way that you can get to that event is through NPC Worldwide. NPC Worldwide contests are open to all athletes from all federations worldwide. Something very important to note is that we do, not, we do not have any coaches sitting at our judging panel. Official scorecards and official photos get published post-event. And our head judges provide email feedback to our athletes post-event. So those are some of the key reasons that to join us. So then, cool. so what, are, what are the shows that we offer locally? Yeah, so once you've um, completed your MPC Worldwide membership, the next thing for you to do is to set your goals and plan your season. So our season is set out very nicely over here. Gee. Cool. So let's go to our events. Right, so there is our events calendar. Uh, not particularly, I don't want to talk about the events, I want to talk about that's where you can get all your registrations done, everything's available to you online. There's an online store that you can use and facilitate absolutely everything that you need from tan, hair, makeup, the shows, the apparel. Um, every show is listed there that you need so the registrations and stuff guys that's where it is so you're going to do first of all you've got to do your NPC worldwide registration and get your, uh, your NPC worldwide athlete number which will be required when you form part of let's go do muscle uh, yeah. we'll go through a registration um, can you go on the drive a bit and just do a registration page for us Okay, perfect. So each event, all the events are listed here, each one has their own page. Okay, at the bottom of the poster, you'll find all the entry options over here, how to register. So, so. there you go, you select your category. Add to your cart. You're then able to add to your tans or any other subsidiary surface services. If you want to. And you check basically proceed to your checkout and you're done. Yeah, you would fill everything out and then very important right at the bottom here, you will see that you will require your MPC Worldwide membership number. Okay, so Incentive program, Candy's put up something there for you guys in terms of incentive. Candy, you want to just go through that for the for the peeps? Yeah, so um, early bird. Early bird entry fees, they remain early bird until six weeks out from each contest. So don't miss out on that. Once the early bird expires, the standard online rate will apply. And then one week out from show, Online entries will close and on-site registration will be available the day before the show. So don't miss out on those on on those early bird online entries, okay? Then for the serial competitors, we have got special codes that we will be giving out for athletes who enter. If you enter two or more regionals, you'll get a 15% discount off your pro qualifier entry. Three regionals, 20% off 
four regionals, 25% off. So those are benefits for the guys that are serial compers, want to take the most and take advantage of our entire season. Um, and the four shows that would be applicable would be the top row of shows on our calendar because those are the four regionals that take place before the pro qualifier. So those are your opportunities to qualify for this year's South African pro qualifier as well as the team for the MPC Worldwide International Championships taking place at the Rocks Athleticon in Atlanta, Georgia, 2020 October. Back to the incentive program. Can we quickly hop back there? There was one more. Okay, last point, couple of last points. So for overall winners, this is quite a goodie because I know there's a couple of households in South Africa that took um, more than one overall last year. So for the overall winners, if you win one regional qualifier, you will qualify for 25% off your pro qualifier entry. If you win two overalls at the regional qualifier, you will get 50% off your pro qualifier entry. Three overalls will get you 75%, and for those who have more than four, your entry Ooh. is on us. Coaches, 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 very important. For coaches that have more than five athletes entering any regional qualifier, you guys can apply for a free coaches pass. Um, my email address is over there, so if you know that you've got athletes that are coming and there are five or more, let me know who they are so that I can put your um, coaches pass aside for you to collect at our on-site box office. Then, guys, for me, why would you entertain the idea of comping so much? Um, simply, there's an opportunity that presents itself this year that has never been around, um, and I feel it is going to become the ultimate event to be part of in the future. Um, once you see um, what that lady con really about with Dwayne Johnson's vision, I think uh, we're all going to want to be a part of it going forward. So. How do you get involved? Well, simply points. Um, the scoring for your regional placings in your over top five overalls. Um, effectively, with the format we run, it's only up to first, second, and third. Um, well, depending on the, the, format, on the yeah, division, yes. Division, so. And then the, the, the pro qualifiers from second. We exclude the first one because they get the pro card. So then second, third, fourth, and fifth get some points. That being said, guys, we've had a pro qualifier, so... We have got some points on the board already. So to be in the points, you need to win your class so that you go to the overall. So and then your overall gets judged and placed. So Candy has sent all the footage through to Mars. Mars has responded and given us the official results. We've sent that off to the Pro Leagues HQ. Um, to Tony Blinn, um, who I'm sure will be listing and releasing those as officially, but uh, you can expect Champagne Productions to be listing it up on the website pretty soon. Um, that being said, we anticipate that the season is about Atleticon, um, getting the points, making sure that you solidify your spot in that respective division to be on the team to go to Atlanta. Coaches, that's for me the, the the coach that has the most athletes in that team at the end of the year, in my opinion, is the best coach. That's simply how I feel about this season and what the opportunity has. Um, yeah, and the points will show and reflect on our um, yeah. our season. We're going to be running our various team coach awards with the shows as we normally do, but there will be overall um, awards at the end of the year once all the shows are done. So do you want so to just go, go through yes, the I do qualification want to go. rules? I do want to go through this. So, very, very important. So there are eight different divisions that are going to form part of Athleticon. It's going to be men's bodybuilding, men's classic physique, men's physique, women's fitness, women's figure, women's bikini, 
women's physique and the very new women's wellness. You guys will notice that for the first year, women's bodybuilding will not be featuring at the NPC Worldwide International Championships. Okay, the second point that's very important for you guys to understand is that you can only earn points in the open class divisions, the open classes of the division. So unfortunately, the juniors, masters, novice, they are not eligible to earn points towards making the team to go to Athleticon. Um, something very interesting is that this contest is not open to US citizens. So it's open worldwide to everybody except the US. So, Okay, we've gone through the points already. Yes, yeah, so the point standings are going to be listed on um, mpcnewsonline.com's website as well as ifbbpro.com's website. Qualifying period is from the 1st of October 2019 Till the 31st of August 2020 so on about the 1st of September the official results will be published where the top five finalists in the point standings in each division per country will qualify so the division overall winner at the MPC Worldwide Championships they will earn their right to apply for their IFBB professional league card so yeah guys this year Athletes that are competing with Champagne Productions um, are going to be known as NPC Worldwide Athletes. So that's what you guys can start calling yourselves. We have a name to our season. So, yeah. Our website is constantly being updated, guys. So daily, if you're having any challenges, just let us know. Um, troubleshoot and sort out all the bugs mm. but yeah it's up it's live it's running it's got the shows um, so the season kicks off on the 30th of May with the Muscle Militia Grand Prix um, so that bo bad boy is going to kick off our season um, also something very important to note is that it is the last opportunity for athletes to qualify if they would like to join the team Team South Africa that's heading over to the Amateur Olympia in Spain in June then when we come back from the Amateur Olympia Spain in June after the Muscle Militia we've got the first eye candy classic taking place in Josie on the 27th of June so that one is there and then very very excited we have got a special guest on the line and we are so super excited to hello 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 <laughs> hey Shan let's get her in there G. can you guys hear me yes we can hear you there we go I can't hear you. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Can you hear us now? There we go, Shan. Can you hear us now? Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Hello. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So everybody, for those of you that do not know, this is Shannon Atkinson. She's our very own IFBB Professional League Bikini Pro. First one. <laughs> Shan is going to be yeah. part Shan is our partner in KZN. Um, she is going to be um, presenting the Iron Showdown, the Shannon Atkinson Classic. So excited. So excited. So tell us, Shane, when is it? Where is it? What you got in store? Right, so <laughs> 25th of July, the Rockwood Theatre to the Bayern Casino. Um, it's an awesome, awesome venue, um, which after we've gone and had a good look is to showcase their, their talents and rock the stage. Um, and I think the three of us are just going to do whatever we can to make it just a really fun full show for anyone doing it just as a first time bucket list item 
to the series athletes that are gunning for the pro or for the points for Athleticon. Um, I know we've got lots of ideas that um, as an athlete, I'm going to try and give my five cents of small things that make a difference for the athletes backstage and just in general for the show. Um, so we're really excited to, to, to do something different um, and something cool and fresh for, for kids here um, is amazing and always has been. So it's going to be exciting to give the SCT a platform to actually really get out there and, and shine. So we're very excited. Awesome stuff. And you got some special awards in store. I know you've re released already the Legend Award. You want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, when we got together and, and we decided to do the show together, I chatted to you guys, um, and I really wanted to do something to give tribute to Mario and Renee for everything that he's done for the Pro League one with the, an active athlete, um, and just in general with everything that he's gone through, um, with him being the only South African athlete to have ever graced the Olympia stage. I've always felt that he hasn't got the recognition or the... Um, the accolades that he deserved from the local crew. So I thought it would be a nice gesture just to present him with something from us, just to say um, how much that's what he's done for the, the sport and for KZN and the country means to the athletes that are competing now and athletes that have competed years ago. Um, so I'm so happy that he's accepted and come to receive that. Um, and hopefully we can get him to agree to one or two other surprises. <laughs> So I'm very excited for that one. Um, KZN is a, a real favorite spot of mine. Yeah, I think this year's season is going to be Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, sorry, G. Yeah, I think this season is going to be incredible. I think with kicking off Muscle Militia, we always know it's a big uh, show. So the athletes always come in the numbers and... Once we start tabulating uh, the points, I think your show is going to be a deal breaker because it's midway. So start, people start to solidify their spots. I think it's going to be a very, very exciting show. Exciting, competitive. Um, and I, I, I just, from, from my point of view, I just really want it to be a, a memorable show for the athletes, something they really enjoy doing um, and something that, you know, they don't have a second thought about maybe coming back to do it next year because they had such a good experience. So that's what all three of us are working towards. Um, and we're all workaholics when it comes to the sport and we love the sport. So um, I, I just know that it's going to be a success. Um, so we're excited for that. Really excited. Yeah. Iron showdown, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, you guys... Um, if you want to, can keep Shan there just to go back to the calendar. After Shan's show in July, we have our last regional qualifier, which is the Eye Candy Classic Mother City. Um, Eye Candy Classic Mother City will be coming, and we are going to be this year. Well, do you want to go through each show? Not particularly. I think if we save stuff for some next next week, we can dive in and do some more. We details. just keep talking. I got quite a few questions coming through here now. So, but the Eye Candy Mother City will be the last regional qualifier um, to earn points for Athleticon as well as to qualify for the Muscle Militia Grand Prix Six. Yes, guys, Muscle Militia Six is a pro qualifier this year. Um, so yes, we've got one in the, the first show of the season is a regional, number five, number six is a pro qualifier. That's right, we, we will have nine beautiful pro cards as well as nine awesome new surprise yeah, guys, overall we, trophies. We had a, a pre-production meeting already this year where we've agreed let's just put it there we've agreed on the ones we've agreed we've agreed <laughs> and come up with the trophy idea for muscle militias pro qualifier once we've had a chance to meet with the supplier this week and we've confirmed that it's a it's a go on pricing we're happy to proceed we will share and release what it is um once again you have no 
that it will be superhero aligned. Um, for those of you that know how cool our pro qualifier awards were for the big man weekend, anticipate something really super special for Muscle Militia's award. That's right. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> So, but after the Eye Candy, Class, Eye Candy Classic in Mother City, we're going to be having a little break. I think we've got six weeks from that one until Athleticon. And in between that, it is Olympia. And remember this year, we're going to be taking um, our fans. We're going to be putting together fan packs for all the fans and super heroes that want to come join us to Olympia. Um, I'll be working and I will let you guys know um, throughout the lives and throughout the broadcasts and social media when those packages are going to be available. So I'm excited for that. It's really a bucket list thing. Absolute, guys. I mean, Chen, you were there last year with, with us. Um, you've got a taste of what it entails. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, it's, it's been on our bucket list for, for many, many years, and to actually go and do it um, would have been nice to go as an athlete, but um, to go as a fan was also super special. <laughs> um, and it really, if it's, if it's as a fan of the sport and um, of the Olympia and the history, um, it's an amazing, amazing trip to do. So definitely one to do. Awesome stuff. Oh, you're trying to pop Shan in there. <laughs> We'll get it in, we'll get it in. That's right. Something that I would highly recommend, though, when you guys start um, planning your trip is that, um, Shan, you can maybe agree or maybe disagree with me, is that there's just so much to do and so much to see that the time that you're there in Las Vegas, like, it's Olympia time. It's Olympia time. There's no time for anything else. No um, DJs on Friday nights. Because <laughs> you, have, you have to be there super early to go in super early. Because at Olympia, they give away so many freebies and samples. That expo is insane, guys. Yeah. I can't actually explain it to people in context. Like to move from one end of the the building to the other end of the building if you're looking for somebody and need to get to them it's minimum 30 minute process minimum minimum 30 minutes plus i've had it take me 90 minutes to move from one side of the stage down the side to the other end an hour and a half to get back to kenya well yeah. un until you've been there to olympia or until you've been to one of the arnolds overseas you don't actually realize how super huge these expos are like we haven't had anything like that yet yet well that's why we are offering the fan packages we want as many people as possible to join us in the experience and what we're offering in what we believe pro league is it's the ultimate in bodybuilding that super bowl is like amazing it's it's incredible Cool beans. So yeah, so then it's Olympia. After Olympia is Athleticon. So back to Athleticon. Um, how many points do you need? I've had, I did have somebody ask me how many points do you need? So it really isn't about the amount of points. We need the top five point earners by the 1st of September are the ones that are going to make the team. So there are 40 slots to be filled. There are 40 team members that are going to be eligible to join us to go to Athleticon to the NPC Worldwide International Championships. The very first one. Like, you want to be at the first one, guys. It's history. This event, the events at Athleticon are going to be televised all over the world. It is history. And what does that mean? What does that mean, Darren? Like, what does it mean for our athletes that are going to be seen on the stages at the NPC Worldwide Championships at Athleticon? What, is the, what does it mean for them, the exposure that they're going to get? Well, for me, the way I, I, I put it in perspective, Candy, is athletes are constantly coming up to me and asking me, well, how do they get sponsorship? How do they... Well, for me, my answer is pretty standard with the athletes is... I. 
would recommend that they create a, a profile for themselves and a opportunity for them to sell themselves in something tangible. Um, you know, what they've accomplished, what the results, um, and adding this to that resume, I feel is like next level. I mean, to personally say that you've been on the stage that The Rock is putting on the TVs is going to be really, really unique. Um, I feel it's going to become mainstream. I think a lot of the previous experience with the sports is people in bodybuilding don't necessarily get the recognition they deserve, in my opinion, because not to say that any sport's better than the other, but like tennis and soccer and boxing, and like they're constantly, there's channels for that. Um, bodybuilding, I fear, is the ultimate athlete. Um, there's no downtime from being a bodybuilder. So in my perspective, getting it on the platforms and the TV is really where we need the sport to go. Um, I think in time to come, five, six years, like the brands that are being involved, the Under Armour, which is already Dwayne Johnson's brand, is already going to be part of it. You can expect the likes of Nike and Adidas and Reeboks and... You name it, guys. I feel that the, the entire sporting world is going to look at the bodybuilding world totally differently when it hits TV. Um, and let's be honest, there's two folds to um, the bodybuilding world. You've got the amateurs, which for us is the NPC. Worldwide. NPC Worldwide is our amateurs. And then you've got the IFBB Pro League. Um, the IFBB Pro card is what we, once you've got that, you get your points and you aspire to get on the Olympia stage. Um, for the pros, the shirt's an invite-only um, project that uh, they'll be running. Um, Robin Chang and Dwayne Johnson and the team will share more information that the pros as, as we progress. Candy and I will be mandated to run the amateur section of it with the MPC, uh, with the regional qualifiers and the pro qualifiers and assist our athletes in Making those 40 slots, getting our tracks, getting our teams, getting our bags, and getting over there and kicking some serious butt. That's right. <coughs> As you're looking at your team managers right here in South Africa. <laughs> I, I think it's also important to, to, to look at Athleticon and, and the competing and the, and the point system as an amateur very much as a warm up for what it would be like when you became a pro. And you were wanting to to get to the Olympia stage, and um, there you have to compete regularly, and you have to get the points um, if you want to qualify to do the Olympia. So, I think it's exciting that as the NPC champs for am amateurs um, is bringing that system in because it it will sort of educate them on on what it's required to be an athlete, um, a pro athlete, and if that's what their goal is, it sort of gets them ready and uh, gets into the the swing of competing regularly, which to some degree the South African athletes aren't necessarily used to doing. Um, as amateurs, we, I remember you normally choose your, your one or two important shows with your end goal in mind. Um, but as a pro, uh, those that are wanting to get onto the Olympia stage, they need to compete regularly. Yeah, they need to be able to compete regularly. It's a league at the end of the day. And you have to accumulate points and get to the top of your league. So there's the amateur yeah, I league. I think it's pretty cool that a similar system is coming into place for the amateurs. So um, just like an amateur is asking me what the criteria is for each division um, and your Olympia champ is your criteria, the same rules for qualifying for Olympia, they're bringing into the amateur level. So it, it really gives you a feel as an athlete, even on an amateur level, what it would take. Um, to compete on a pro level as well. Yeah. Well, for now, um, they haven't released the criteria for the pros, so I'm not sure if it's going to be invitation or if it's going to be open, um, but we wait for Robin to release that information to all of us. Um, and once they do release that, we will be sure to release it with our 20 South African pros because we went into 2020 with 2020 South African pros I'm super proud of all of them, and I can't wait to hear where they're going to be competing this year. Um, so, yeah, can't wait to get behind them. That's what it's all about, is like we, we want to get the South Africans on that Olympia stage, baby. Winning it.
we believe. Yeah. That's the goal. That's the goal. So, um, for and, and even for the athletes that, um, you know, don't make the team to go to Athleticon, we still have the South African Pro Qualifier year on home soil where there are nine pro cards up for grabs. Um, Following that, Shal Candy, you've also slapped one uh, oh, at the end of the year. Right at the end. So, so after the pro qualifier, we've slammed one in there for December for those people that want to keep a goal and be in shape for the December and the festive seasons. Um, the, the 5th of December is going to be the Eye Candy Classic Pretoria. So that'll end off our season very nicely, keeping you guys all in Beach bod condition, so I was told by a couple of athletes who asked for it. So that's how we will be ending off our season this year. So jam-packed. Um, we're going to be looking at doing our pose with the pros um, workshop and seminars sometime in February and March. We're just finalizing venues, finalizing our guest speakers, and then we will share that information for you guys. Remember that all our posing workshops and seminars are free to all athletes that are registered for any of the upcoming shows. Um, and at the seminars, you guys will be able to also um, do your MPC Worldwide registrations to get your memberships. You'll be able to enter online. Um, and we're always available um, all the time. Um, you guys can get my number on, on the posters. Um, I'm open to answering all your questions. So that is all the shows for the season. Is there anything else we have missed off before I go to some questions? Andy, do you want to just um, reiterate the period that the regional qualification is valid for? Yeah, so you can go back to our website there for me, G. So the regional qualification is valid for one calendar year from the time that you last competed at a regional qualifier. So, for example, um, athletes that entered the Eye Candy Classic KZN um, mm. last year, their regional qualification will actually be expiring. So their qualification yeah. will expire like the 8th of March. So unless if they didn't do another regional, then they would need to do another regional in order to be eligible for... Um, entering a pro qualifier anywhere in the world. So if you go all the way to the bottom, as the, you will see that they do expire, and I do all the way down, G, all the way. So as you can see, we had like quite an uptake last year of um, athletes that came to our show. So those athletes, their, their um, regional qualification status has expired, so they would need to do another regional. But in saying that, Every single South African will need to do another regional qualifier this year for the pro qualifier in October because everybody's status will expire on the 29th of September. So that was on the regional qualification status. There was something else I wanted to mention. Um, so guys, I just let me go to the first question which will take me to what I wanted to say. For non-South African athletes, how do they qualify for Athleticon? So I've had a couple of athletes from our neighboring countries, from Namibia, um, Mauritius, Zimbabwe, Botswana. They've asked me like, hey, Candy, can we hop on? We want to go. We want to go with you guys. So there are a couple of athletes from our pro qualifier that are already on the points. Okay, if you represented your country and your official points have been put forward, like for Botswana, for example, like Botswana has already got an athlete with points on the board, so Botswana is already eligible to be taking a team. You guys will earn your points, um, your country, your points will be allocated according to you, according to your country. When you register, you give me those details. So you guys are eligible. And at the 1st of September, the top five athletes in the point standings in every prospective country will earn the right to represent their country at the NPC Worldwide International Championships. So in saying that, our regionals are open worldwide. There are athletes from all over the world that will be coming and can come to our regional qualifiers because they are they can they can earn points. They can earn regional qualifier points and pro qualifier points. 
And what's the advantage of that? The Lady. regionals. Lady Connors, Lady Connors, Lady Con. And also, like a lot for the the international athletes, the regionals are um, more cost effective options for them to rack up their points. All right. Next question. Um, okay, that was just a point that I wanted to make. So. I got a question. I'm from Mozambique. Can I compete in South Africa? So I answered that already. <laughs> so athletes from all over the world can compete in the regional qualifiers, <coughs> um, the pro qualifiers. There were a couple of athletes. If you go to the first screen of rules, um, there are a couple of contests which have got extra qualifying criteria. Um, in order to get the pro card. So those are listed all over there. So the Arnold Amateur USA has got some extra qualifying criteria as well as the Olympia Amateur. Just with regards to how they award the pro cards for those contests. Okay, I had another question that came through are mandatories and eye walks done in pre-judging um, including the wellness so with regards to the regional qualifiers there are going to be two different formats on how we will run our shows and I will put up more information notices on the formats on all our different classes and divisions that we have um, when we are running a full format show and that will be when we have less than 200 athletes, we will run the pre-judging as well as the finals. And you will do your eye walk both times. Um, top 10 make it to the finals in our regionals. So that answers that question on eye walks. I just want to check and see if there's any more questions online. I'll have a look here. You've got... Let's see. How many points are needed? Half the hand. Mm -hmm. yeah, so when we go on our trips um, that we have planned to Spain, to um, the Olympia in Las Vegas, even if you want to compete as an athlete, all those packages that we're going to be putting together will be exactly the same as the packages we did for the athletes that traveled with us last year to the UK um, and to Spain. So we will help the athletes that would like to join the team. And in saying that, if, if you have valid regional qualification status for the Amateur Olympia Spain, which is the second week in June, all you need to do if you want to join the team is get in touch with me and if you have got regional status I will put you on the list and join you in on all the conversations with the planning so that's all you have to do if you want to join there's no other further qualifying criteria if you've got valid regional qualification status you are open to join and enter any pro qualifier worldwide um, just the benefits of coming with us as a team is obviously the group bookings um, and the team camaraderie. The militias like to go all over the world. Yeah, we've got information that we can share, where to stay, what tickets to book, what, what times to go, what, how to get around. Um, yeah, it's nice and... Uh, Amazing experience when you've got people to share it with. What else, Gens? I don't have any more questions online. So, Sham, anything else that we should cover that we haven't covered? I don't think so. I think I think that's um, pretty much everything. Um, all the information is very accessible on the website. Um, and you'll be putting up inspection reports per per show for, for the athletes as well, which will give them all the information. Yeah, um, those will start going out. Yeah. yeah, I think that's... Yeah, we're, that's, all, we're, we're all just a DM more. away. Main goal next week will basically be to start sharing the inspection reports that gives every bit of detail to the shows, guys. 
um, from tans to photos to um, accommodation to whatever. Uh, it's full detail. You or being privy to seeing the detail of your inspection reports that you've put up before. There will be no difference, if anything, more detailed. Um, yeah. Right. Ticketing system this year, um, I know we have looked into doing something slightly different where we don't have to close um, the box office a week before. Um, we'll, well be going into that at some point with the, when we make that live as to how that will work, but it's pretty standard. You, Standard ticketing system that we've linked into Champagne Productions that makes it so much easier to validate, scan, and accredit everybody on our site. It's something that we are quite excited about for the season that we've we've invested on the back end of our systems um, for the shows, guys. Um, yeah, we're always working on those systems in the back. We want to try and make um, our experience as simple and easy as possible. We do understand that there's a learning phase and transition phase, but uh, we're going to be elect as electronic as possible so that we remove human error. Simply, um, we've already got the fact that you've got the NPC worldwide membership that's online, so if athletes arrive at the shows, they're going to have challenges. We will have iPads and computers on site to facilitate that sort of stuff for you guys um, to make sure that you can get past those challenges. And we'll offer the same services at the posing workshops um, should you not have access to internet and that sort of stuff. But you come into the workshop, we can register you for the, the shows and NPC worldwide at the at the workshops. Pose of the pros will be taking place this year. That's right. Um, question in there from Gert. So Gert, the guys from Zimbabwe, um, Namibia, etc., they will not form part of the 40 South African teammates. They will have their own team. So um, Namibia effectively has a team of 40 slots to fill two guys. So, But points are points, guys. We've only got X amount of points with so many regionals. That's right. So those guys mm. are going to be fighting for the same points. Yeah, they can come and take our SA points. So I am amped and excited because it's... MPC and I believe the best of the best compete with us, so bring it on. That's right. I just wanted to go through the, the venues and stuff for the events. So for the Josie shows this year, all our, sorry, not for the Josie shows, for the Muscle Militia 5 and 6, as well as the Eye Candy mm. Classic Pretoria. Talk so specific is going to be at the Heartfelt Arena. So our first one, the Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5 on the 30th of May will be at the Heartfelt Arena. It's on the screen main, right now. Main arena side. All our events at Heartfelt Arena, we've moved from the theatre to the main arena side. Um, the facility just speaks for itself. The Pro Qualifier is also going to be at the Heartfelt Arena this year in October, also in the main arena. Eye Candy Classic Josie is going to be taking place at the Caladio in Kempton Park. Um, you guys are familiar with that venue and all the info will be on the web. The Iron Showdown is going to be at the Rockwood Theatre at Sabaya Casino. So it's a really awesome, awesome venue. Eye Candy Classic Pretoria will be back at the Heartfelt Arena at the end of the year in the arena. Boom, boom. Ah, Mother City. Eye Candy Classic Mother City is taking place at the Baxter Theatre this year. So I'm excited. That's such a grand venue. Very excited for that one. Yeah. Um, I'm stoked to get uh, the Cape Town. The Cape Town one is going to solidify those, those placings at that Leticon is going to be incredible. For those that were at our show last year, have uh, we sold out. So those that really have an idea of the energy then the then the vibe that was that was there. We had two DJs battling while the bad the guys on the stage were battling and we, the judges couldn't decide. We had an international judging panel that was there. It was insane. So I believe we're gonna we're gonna match, if not better, the energy and the show um in Cape Town again this year. So for those that are, are looking to make sure they solidify their spots on that athletic on team, don't rule out that show. Keep your your eyes on there, because you might need one or two more points to solidify your spot and uh, join us for that show in Cape Town. I think it's going to be awesome. I think I'm looking forward to the 
over the entire season. It's going to be exciting. I'm very excited for the season. Super, super excited. Um, um, feels yeah. like forever away, but as you know, it creeps Can I lay down, can I lay down a formal challenge? Yes. Sure. Who are you challenging? <laughs> I want to challenge. Kaylin is challenging the Mother City and Jodie and Pretoria you see. to bring the best vibe of the year. Cool. The best atmosphere. There's going to be a showdown of momentous proportions. So we call on all the, the athletes outside of KZN to try and better what we're going to bring to the stage. Yeah, let's, let's, let's figure let's out see what something. You got. Well, we will <laughs> accept the challenge. We'll come up with something offline and then we'll announce it of exactly what it is that we have in store. But I like the, the idea because the vibes at the shows are, have been amazing uh, since Cape Town. I think if we make that uh, part of the the challenge, it only ramps it up a little bit more. So yeah, I'm keen for that. <laughs> super, super excited. So yeah, because you know the Muscle Militia is. I've I've updated our calendar, so I know exactly how many weeks out every show is. The Muscle Militia is officially 12 weeks out on the 29th of February. Da da da, leap year. So take a leap of faith. This is the year to change, peeps. Join us crazy fitness peeps. Yeah. yeah. That's it. If there are not any more questions, we will be signing out soon. All the information is on all our pages. We are on Facebook. If you go to the posters, the Facebook and Instagram links are on all the posters. They are on the web. Follow us. Follow the pages to stay up to date. Um, if you guys want to be added to my WhatsApp broadcast list, all you got to do is DM me um, on WhatsApp and ask me to add you. And then you can stay up to date with everything that is NPC Worldwide and Pro League related here in South Africa. Yeah. So on our next live, uh, what we plan to do is just go through the show inspection reports in detail, um, the processes of the various venues and the services, exactly who you can expect to anticipate on site, what services we're offering, where to go, what time where to be, all that information will be available soon, guys. So register, champagneproductions.co.za. Um, yeah. The clothing, right. the clothing still available for those of you that are interested. Go check that out. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys. The rules are there. Um, go, information. Go to the coaches quickly. Ah. Go to the coaches. Uh, Who's going to be the coach with the most bragging rights for 2020? Yeah, so. those coaches that are interested, get in touch with us. We can get you listed. So there are the qualifying criteria to be listed on our recommended coaches. All is listed there on our website, um, as well as information about the Muscle Militia Grand Prix Best Coach Team Award. That's going to be up for grabs again. We'll add, um, we'll add the actual schedule on points and stuff for the upcoming season because um, Shan's also going to have a Best Coach Award this year. Her show is going to have that. So I'll put all the rules on how to earn points for the shows where there is a Best Coach Award. And then also important for the end of the year, we're going to have some awards and nominations, etc., for Best Athletes, Best Coaches. It's going to be open to public vote. And then the rules, guys, if you need the IFBB Pro League rules... They're available, Pro League um, information is always available through us. Yes. That's it, guys. So, yeah, at any time, if you guys have questions, let me know your questions. You can DM me, um, follow us on Instagram. I'm at Hot Mama GP. Garen W, I think, yeah. And you, Shan, what is your handle at? Uh, IFBB Pro Shan. IFBB Pro Shan. And then the pages are at Muscle Militia Grand Prix, at Eye Candy Classic, at Iron Showdown, at Champagne underscore Productions on Instagram. 
So there we go, guys. Lots of information, lots of stuff to take in. Um, if you know of anybody that was interested to catch our live, I'll be uploading it onto the Instagram IGTV and you guys can catch it all there. 2020 roll on. Exciting. 2020 roll on. Look out for the information on those posing workshops and seminars, pose with the pros coming back at you and we will be doing this regularly to educate you guys on how to be the best that you can be in the NPC worldwide baby. Oh, chat soon. Chat soon guys. Thanks Shan. Thanks for joining. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.